We're pretty much in it together because two thirds of America is now blanketed by snow or sleet and freezing rain. And once again, travel plans torpedoed from Virginia to Maine. More than 1,000 flights canceled tonight. And the map says it all. Only six of the lower 48 states in the United States are now free of snow. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z is out tracking it all for us. From today's sloppy mess along the East Coast to the week-long deep freeze for so many in the West. It's just really cold. Almost every state in the nation asking, where did autumn go? These two systems are meeting up over Pittsburgh. It's going to come down very hard. The heavier, steadier snow, likely across southeastern Massachusetts. We're getting an Arctic blast coming in, lasting for days. From Virginia through southern New England, just a little to up to a half foot of snow fell. The burst of beautiful winter transforming Tuesday into a frustrating commute. I drove all the way from Philadelphia and it was like this basically the whole way. As you get closer to New Jersey, the roads got worse and nothing's plowed. More than 80 car accidents just in Connecticut. Hundreds of schools closed. In Massachusetts, the slick road sending this plow crashing through a pole and into a pond. At Dulles International, the parade of plows trying to clear just over two inches. Weather has been a big issue at the airports this week. Nearly 1,400 flights canceled today, more than 6,000 canceled across the country since Sunday. Along with that below average burr in parts of California, dangerous winds. A gust of wind hit me and it raised the tandem tires on the trailer off the ground. I have a co-driver with me and it's not worth their life. In Chicago, fans survived the Bears games in the coldest temps for this date in 18 years. Our Alex Perez put the temperature to the test. We took one of our ABC Chicago t-shirts, put it in water and hung it outside. Within 15 minutes, this is what we got, stiff as a board. Much of D.C. was shut down. Even a national transportation hearing was canceled. Many people staying home, but Senator Lisa Murkowski from Alaska made her way in the snow. It's wetter than it is white. And if you didn't have to drive, it was winter wonderful. The first of many snowmen and snow dogs in what feels like an already long whip of winter. So here we go, coast to coast, 32 itself would seem balmy. Let's talk about how far from average we will be. The number that you're going to see here on this graphic is going to be four below. That would be a high in Minneapolis. The box next to the number is going to be the departure from average. So it's 32 degrees away from what is average in Minnesota. This is not normal. Look at Seattle, they're well below Dallas right there. And Diane here in the East Coast, we're getting ready. 20s through the end of the week. I'm going to need hats just like this, and so will you. Our meteorologist, Ginger Z, thank you so much, Ginger.